Hello everyone, I am Shivam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now, today we will be discussing similarity of triangles. Let us first understand what does the term similar means. So, two figures are said to be similar if they have the same shape but they may differ in size. Now, let us move on to the similarity of triangles. So, we have two triangles, triangle number one, we have triangle ABC and the second triangle we have as PQR. Now, similarity of the triangles is shown by this symbol and for the triangles ABC and PQR to be similar, the sides AB by PQ must be equal to BC by QR which must be equal to AC by PR. This was the first conclusion that we can make if the triangles ABC and triangle PQR are similar. Now if these two triangles are similar then angle B is equal to angle Q, angle A is equal to angle P and angle C is equal to angle R. So I can represent this symbolically by writing triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. So let's move on to the topic corresponding sides and corresponding angles. So let us first discuss what are corresponding sides. So in this case, we have assumed that triangle ABC and triangle PQR are similar. So if angle A is equal to angle P, then the side opposite to angle A is BC and the side opposite to angle P is QR and BC and QR will be called as the corresponding sides. If angle B is equal to angle R then the side opposite to angle B is AC and the side opposite to angle R is PQ. So AC and PQ are called as corresponding sides. Same is the case for angle C and angle Q. The side opposite to angle C is AB and the side opposite to angle Q is PR and AB and PR will be called the corresponding sides. Now let's move on to the part corresponding angles. Suppose AB and PQ are in proportion. So I can say that angle C and angle R are corresponding angles because the angle opposite to the side AB is angle C and the angle opposite to the side PQ is angle R. Same is the case for the sides BC and QR. The angle opposite to the side BC is angle A and the angle opposite to the side QR is angle P. So if the sides BC and QR are in proportion then angle A and angle P will be called as corresponding angles and same is the case for AC and PR. If the two sides are in proportion then I can say that angle B and angle Q are corresponding angles. Now let's move on to the postulates of similarity. Now postulates is an another term for condition. So basically we have three similarity conditions. So if two triangles follow any of these three conditions, then we can say that those two triangles are similar. So let's discuss the three conditions one by one. Now the first condition that we have is side angle side postulate. So suppose we have two triangles, you can name it as ABC and this as TEF. Now in the triangle if we have angle A equal to angle D and AB and D are in proportion and AC and df are in proportion then i can say that the triangles abc 
is similar to DEF by side angle side postulate. Now if you are proving two triangles to be similar by the side angle side postulate then you have to keep in mind that the angle should be between the two sides in proportion and it should not be anywhere else. So if I had angle B equal to angle E then I could not have proved these two triangles to be similar by the side angle side postulate if the angle between these two sides are equal then only I can prove it by the side angle side postulate. Now let's move on to our second postulate that is angle angle postulate or it is also written as triple A postulate. So suppose we have two triangles. Let us name the first triangle as ABC and the second triangle as TEF. Now if the angle A is equal to angle D and angle B is equal to angle E then I can say that these two triangles are similar by the angle angle postulate. Now we have only one angle left that is angle C and angle F and these two angles must be equal to each other because if angle A is equal to angle D and angle B is equal to angle E then the third angle C must be equal to angle F because the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So if these two angles are equal then the third angle automatically becomes equal to each other. That is the reason why this postulate is called angle angle postulate or triple angle postulate. Now moving on to our third and last postulate that is side 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 postulate which is represented as triple S. Now for this case too let's take two triangles and we will name them as ABC and DEF again. So if the sides AB and DE are in proportion AC and DF are in proportion and BC and EF are in proportion then I can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF by the side 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 postulate. Now it is not necessary that the sides at the same position must be in proportion AB can also be in proportion to EF and BC can also be in proportion to DF and same for the rest of the cases. Now that was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. You understood what are similar triangles and you can prove two triangles to be similar by the three postulates that are side angle side, angle angle and side 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 postulate. Now if you have any doubt then you can comment it down in the comment section or you can share your doubt with us in our official Instagram page or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. I have also provided the link to the official website of ASIN Academy down in description so you can go check that out too. I hope that you enjoyed this lecture and if you did then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy.